Hi children, uh, today we are going to talk about one of the pros that has been prescribed for our oral literature syllabus so that uh, I want to talk with you right about this uh, Kumar Sangakkara's uh, speech at Colin Cowdery. This is an extract of the actual, uh, the whole speech. It's a part of it. So that uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, you have to have the book with you, right? Because I have not taken this to the board and uh, if I take it to the board I will have to see the, the other side therefore uh, you have to have the book with you right I will read this uh, book and explain and remember you must know every and each word the meaning of every and each word and every nook and corner must be known because once it comes in the contextual um, you'll be in trouble otherwise right and uh, this i plan two lectures one is um, to explain these things right to explain these things and second lesson is to answer the contextual questions and uh, how to write the answer for the, the essay type questions that my that is my plan so that children, uh, so let's start a lesson. The first one is right now. This is a prose. This comes under the prose, right? So uh, you know, uh, literature is having different genres, right? Different genre. So uh, prose is one of them. Poem is another one. Novel. And uh, uh, the prose, novel, poem, right? And under the prose, right, you have the fiction and stories, fiction and non fiction. This comes in the non fiction. Non fiction, right? Fiction means uh, man, ma man made it, he created it, a short story, it's a fiction. Okay, short story is a fiction. Uh, so this is a true story, non-fiction, right? It's not a fiction. It's a true one. Maybe a diary. What are the non-fiction genre under that genre? What comes in there? So what is a diary? Diarists are there, and Frank Hughes is a diarist. Uh, they are, their diary is actually having certain literary values, right? And uh, some essays, speeches, biographies, autobiographies, some reports, right? Here we are going to learn a speech, right? This speech was delivered by Kumar Sangakkara, one of my uh, favorite cricketers. Right, so he uh, so yeah, almost died. I feel everybody in Sri Lanka loves him. I don't know about you, and because the uh, cricket is no more popular among the youngsters today, anyhow. So, at the time, the cricket was popular in Sri Lanka, right? When people were mad in cricket, so uh, he is a captain, he is a captain right Kumar Sangakka. so he's a brilliant man he's a versatile person he's clever in different things versatile and uh, this clever person right this uh, clever man is a, a good cricketer he became the captain he has a lot of uh, records he's on and uh, he's all around the meantime, he is an educated person, 
is an attorney at law. He was selected to law college and he became a lawyer. Right? So I think you know uh, about him. Right? Anyway, now uh, <laughs> we'll see uh, what is our intention today. Right? We have to see what are the questions that came uh, for examinations that is given in the examinations. So one is Rahu Atta depicts the speaker's pride. Mm, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, speaker's pride and admiration is on culture and country 2016. Right? So you want to uh, have this also, right? The Laho attack depicts the speaker's pride. Depicts means shows the speaker's pride and admiration for his own culture. Do you have uh, an admiration? Right? A pride? Right? Adambara pride uh, for your country and culture? I don't know. You may have, right? Anyway, now he's uh, he has a pride. He has a pride. It's genuine. You want to understand? It's genuine. Genuine. It's true. Right? So, Lahabhata depicts. His speech depicts. His speech shows. You want to say his speech shows his pride and his admiration for his country. So you want to see when you are learning whether this is a revealed, this idea is revealed. So when I'm talking, uh, sometimes I will take these things, right? Therefore, keep this in mind. Question uh, 2, 2017 question. Lava attack is mere a description of the speaker's tension, experience, courage, Sean is uh, this adequate assessment of the extract set for your study give your views it's, he said it's a mere description of the mere speaker's tension experience tension because uh, when they were in 2011 right 2009 so when they went there, they were attacked. Who attacked the Sri Lankan team? Some gunmen, unknown gunmen. Right, unknown gunmen, they came and attacked, fired. Sri Lankan team, while they were traveling. So it's a terrible situation, right? So in Colin Cowdery, so the I've given you, I've given you, right, he was invited, he was invited to deliver a speech about his experience in Lords, in England. So whole world attention was uh, drawn there and after the speech it was published and everybody started to talk differently about our country because our country we had a war for 25 years, continuous 25 years. So people outside Sri Lanka, they believe that Sri Lanka is a country, um, it's a, now you might think about Syria, how do you think about Syria? Or uh, something, uh, Afghanistan. You may think there are always there are some bomb blasting and attacks, you got it. So outsiders who did not visit this country, so they thought the world best guerrilla war had been there in Sri Lanka. So they thought, so this would be a certain kind of a, a, the crisis, right? I mean, it's a big difficult task to live in this country. Living in the country itself, everybody is having certain kind of a experience of their war right so it is not true it is not true now you see this question right the lava attack is a mere description of the speaker's tension 
right? Everybody, everybody get excited, isn't it? Everybody get excited when something happens. Suppose now today, tonight while sleeping, right? If uh, the, the cat meal under your bed, you'll be excited. There's no tension. So anyway, you will face it successfully. Right? So uh, similarly, everybody get excited. Tension. His tension and his courage to show. Is it a correct description? Is it right? Is it enough? Is it an adequate? Is it enough for... Uh, uh, this statement is enough for his uh, speech. That is what you want to discuss. Right? Huh. Uh, question 3. Above all, the Lahu attack conveys to it uh, readers an attachment towards one's own country. Do you agree? Discuss by referring the text. In, above all, above all, first, Lahuata conveys it to its readers. Lahuata, this speech conveys, says the reader, uh, readers, the attachment towards the one's own country. Love towards the country. Love towards the country. Attachment towards the country. Do you agree? Right, so you have to know this is the third question I given you that's 2018. Let's see uh, 2014 question. At the heart of Lahu attack is the love for the cricket and fear of violence. Discuss this statement with reference to the text 2019 question. At, la at the heart of Lahu attack, heart of Lahu attack is the the, 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 the idea, the main idea of the Laho attack, the speech Laho attack, right, is the love for cricket and fear of violence. His fear, right, his fear is discussed there. So discuss this, right, for violence everybody is, uh, everybody is in fear. Everybody is fear of the violence, right? Everybody is fear of the violence. So that that is what it has been discussed. So you have to talk about this matter, uh, this uh, idea. And 2020 question, we'll see 2020. What does the Lahu attack tell us about how the privileged? And the less privileged experience war and violence. This says about the privileged. Right? Privilege, what's a privilege? Those who have the right. Right? How the Lao Adapter talks tells us about the privilege and less privileged. Those who do not have the privileged. I mean the to not there. The people who are not in the, that area, the war area, experience, right, war and violence. That is what they talk about. I think this is uh, somewhat difficult to understand without reading, without knowing the, uh, the pros, right? Therefore, I'm not going to talk about that much. In my le next lecture, I will discuss that. And Lao attack reflects the qualities and the good sportsmen discuss. Lao attack reflects the quality uh, of the good sportsmen. Quality of good sportsmen. We'll see whether they are that is there. But this is in the model question 2016 they issue. Yet this has not come. Right? So we'll see uh, the next one. The versatile in his character helps Kumar to become a remarkable person. Explain your views using the giving evidence from the pro Lahore attack 2016 outstanding uh, central province. Right, central province questions. 
so outstanding personality should go there down right Versali the versatility in his character helps Kumar Sangakkara to become a remarkable person his uh, different talents different skills as a cricketer right and a uh, person who has uh, talents in learning as a person who can uh, with the uh, elocution who can speak well all right so uh, these things kumar sangakkara has become a remarkable person he became a great all right because of this quality so that's the central province 2016 questions i have selected this seven questions and eight one Sangakara's speech is an unequal, equivocal, 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 right? Unequivocal expression of commitment to his game. Would you agree with this statement, teacher Sky? So Sangakara's speech is an unequivocal means a, a clear expression, clear expression to the commitment to his game right it's a, it's a bit uh, clear expression for his game that's cricket cricketers make the good leaders cricketers make good gentlemen cricketers cricketer if you are playing cricket you become you may it make you a uh, talented person in improve your skills right so expressions of the commitment to his game it's a commitment to his game, right? And would you agree with this statement? So that is a teacher's guy. So I think uh, you have understood some, I've given you some, discussed some questions, right, which I've given you. Right, so far we got these questions, 2016 to 2020. Uh, when you started this one, you have an idea now, what, what are you going to learn? But Sangakar, right, his game, his uh, skills, skillfulness, as well, uh, uh, his uh, patriotism, patriotism, his love for the country, right, and his uh, different skills. So, so such things we are going to discuss here right so this uh, speech this uh, part of this extraction of this speech reveals right all these things this is what you have to understand uh, by studying this uh, prose right so first i told you this comes under the uh, literary gentry of um, non-fiction because this is actual speech by Sangakkara right what sort of questions that comes right is the second thing I have talked with you and thirdly um, I want to go with this vocabulary right so uh, or, or, orator oral is the word of mouth orator or I see or a oratorical oratorical contest right his uh, the skills of uh, the speaking right his elocution so that will be question so remember these words must be known and uh, mandarin free from fault that comes in the text and piling up right uh, like a a long slender column stack being the, uh, the whole things outings and piling up station uh, sedation act of giving somebody drops in the, in order to make the, them calm a bit uh, silent and look sad right so that is sedation D but is a novel it's a new new the idea of and sort is when you uh, bandage something we call the sort and strive is uh, to drill devote serious effort right to devote serious effort 
the great uh, trident and character uh, so charter is a written instrument or the guarantee of rights right and unequivocal is a clear that i given you i mean commitment is a state of being obliged or agreement so i think as literature students uh, these definitions are clear for you clear enough if it's not uh, you can refer your dictionary and find these words right so now i move on to my uh, lesson that is uh, kumar sangakara's speech extraction of kumar sangakara's speech please now you need to have i know some children i know some children they uh, the how they do uh, the they are gay the online classes they have the phone with them right in front of and they are eating they are attending to some other jobs right sometimes they use their uh, they are using their whatsapp group in other way right so differently they play so they are not successful right so listening to a banana right so nobody will be corrected just listening one to learning is a practical issue so i have given you i told you earlier so that uh, please open up your book and uh, read you may have read it earlier but just uh, go through i read bit slow slowly right not very fast so you can just go through the, go, go through it and find if there are any mistake the difficult place which is not clear you can give me a call right huh we'll see i was fortunate that during my life i never experienced of violence in sri lanka first hand there have been so many bomb explosions over the years but i was never in wrong place at the wrong time you have to underline that wrong place at the wrong time there are several bomb blasts i know it because that uh, uh, newspaper if there comes in newspaper and uh, news right probably radio right so that i know it i'm aware of it right i was fortunate i was fortunate for what i was never in the wrong place at the wrong time when whenever there is a bomb blast i was not there right so i was fortunate that during my life during my life kumar sangakara addressing he was addressing the people in england not just sri lankans right english people maybe or some other country people would have come there right so he is addressing to them right not to you or not to sri lankans so that's what he said it right they the audience they thought prior to this they thought sri lanka oh my god is a war right this is a war right so we should not go there right there are bomb blasting they did not know right sri lanka itself is a small tiny dot in the map right so uh, their idea is uh, different about our country therefore he said i was fortunate that during my life during my life i never experienced violence in sri lanka first hand there have been so many bomb explosions there have been so many explode big bomb explosions that's true but right over the years over the years 25 years time right 25 years time so there have been so many bomb explosions over there but i was never in the wrong place at the never at the wrong time whenever there is a bomb explosions i was on there 
So this idea tells us uh, Sri Lanka, the whole Sri Lanka, there was a war. Right, they will see how. In Colombo, in Colombo, apart from these occasional bombs, apart from occasional in Sri Lanka, there are some bomb blasts in uh, Colombo. Uh, there's a number of the counted numbers, right? Maybe 10, 20, right? Occasional for the 25 years, right? Occasional bomb blast. Life was relatively normal. It was relatively normal, right? There is no uh, uh, feeling of a war in Colombo. No feeling of a war in Colombo. People had luxury of being physical, detached from the war. Those who are detached, not attached, detached from the war, they had their luxuries, they had good lives. Right now, his speech, he just take the, his audience, right, telling his audience that this war is only restricted to certain area right those are not attached to that area attached to the war so others are relatively normal there is no feeling of it now here see how he said it people had luxury and uh, yeah the children went to school people went to work and I played my cricket you got it Examples. He says example. What is it? Children went to school. Now it's during the corona. You don't go to school, right? But there's no such things. Children went to school. We play cricket. I went to school. I went, the people went to their work. Ordinary work. Day to day work. And I went to. I played my cricket. I played my cricket. So uh, there is no abnormality. There's no abnormality in the country, right? The whole country, there is no war. Only it is restricted to a part where there are, the war had been uh, continued. That is the idea he says by means of these words, right? So the next one. In other part of the country, through people, though people were putting their lives in a harm way every day, either in defense of their motherland or just trying to strive <coughs> the geographical circumstances that made them inhabit a war zone. Right? So the people who lived in there, in that area, Right in the other part of the country, that means the northern, not uh, the province, part of an old province, country. Though people were putting their lives in a harm's way, people putting their lives in a harm's way, they go for a war against the Sri Lankan army. So army goes there. There's a civil war in the country, and every day either to defense or their motherland, defense their motherland. Some are telling that we are going to uh, defend our motherland and want to, we don't want to leave it to the uh, certain uh, people that was idea. And defense the motherland or just trying to survive, just to try to survive. Right? Now they cannot leave. They cannot leave. They are, their survival is in that land so trying to survive in the geographical geographical circumstances geographical situations they made that made them inhabit they live in there in the war zone so they have to face these troubles you understand me right so it is the idea that he brought it in that next one for them who are them Right? For them. For them means children. The people who lived in there. People who uh, go for the fight. Right? For them. Avoiding bullet, shells, mines. Right? And grenades. 
Granite small bumps, you know? Right, granite. So avoiding them. Um, it's video the video and I had uh, yeah, uh, for them avoiding the bullet shells and the granite was imperative for the imperative for survival imperative for survival right not be able to avoid imperative no cannot avoid imperative they cannot avoid because they are there always they are, they are with them right so um, um, imperative for them uh, imperative for survival for their livings they have to right and this is the this was experience <coughs> that i could not relate to this was experience that i could not relate to i honestly says i have no experience such experience i could not relate how the war experience of a war right relate to i cannot tell it and i had a great sympathy and compassion for them i have a great sympathy i had great great sympathy feeling sorry and love right certain love for them this is about these poor people who are suffering due to the war right but had no real experience with which I could draw parallels but parallels to them parallel to them equal to them I have no such experience to tell you about the war that means I'm a person who lived in this country for from the birth from my birth from my but in this country we had a war the world famous war right for 25 years continuous 25 years right yet i have no such experience in my life he says this war only restricted to only certain area it is not affected to the whole country equally people did not have experience such experience actually i do not have right i do not have right i have talked a lot but i never have experienced such right so he says that people in the audience right the audience they will they thought that he says this is nothing for me i'm a person who lived in the country where the, the, the war had been for 25 years so they are not no he didn't say that I'm an ordinary person most of the Sri Lankans are ordinary innocent people like you all who are sitting in front of me I'm equal to you not a person who is having the experience of a war remember Sri Lanka is that right that was until we toured Pakistan in 2009 right he gives limit now what is it that was until 2009 and the tour in Pakistan why he got the experience in there not his relation he got it so we set off to play the tour two tests in Karachi and Lahore the first test played in the feather beds right feather beds feather beds means no problem right you know what's a feather bed right so idiomatic use right so it's easy going feather beds and the past without great incidents no great incidents softly everything happened so Kolkata is very hard game you know right very hard game and a lot of incidents happens injured right it's a feather bed no problem and the second test was also mentoring along the along with the piling up the big first innings big first innings when we departed from the ground on the on day three on day three now 
five day cricket match five day test right second test was in so we are collecting a lot of uh, holding a lot of uh, what is it uh, uh, things uh, very hard things right mentoring uh, along with the uh, piling up a big first innings when we departed for the first ground on the uh, for the first for the ground on the first day uh, day three having been asked to leave early instead of waiting for Pakistan bus right having been asked to leave the early instead of waiting for Pakistan bus right instead of waiting Pakistan bus we have been asked to go so we got on the bus and went we were anticipating a day of the hard toil for the bowlers hard they are feeling the feeling day of hard we are anticipating we hope we hope what we were anticipating we expected what is it the day of hard and toil and toil means also very hard right hard work hard toil uh, for the bowlers because Pakistani batsmen very hardly uh, the very easy taking the balls they come and ball very hardly and they just lock it right only in the week a week ball comes they are playing the ball so it's a very hard test play playing test matches no, not 2020 right test is very hard right so ballers are getting the real punishments right so they they have to uh, have a very hard period so at the back of the bus the fast bowlers were loud in their comp uh, complaints now he is the captain he is the captain of the cricket team so remember his quality he always very attentive very attentive right he just keep there what the others talk about his uh, teammates right his followers so at the back of the bus the fast bowlers were loud in their complaints fast bowlers will complain they are getting the hard job and I remember I remember Tilantia Tishara being a particularly vocal particularly vocal in saying in words he said complaining that his back was nearly breaking point back was nearly the breaking point right from the calendar Zingala, that is a word you would have said even in Zingala, right? It's a breaking point. He joked that the wish uh, that he wished a bomb would go, we could all leave to uh, Lahore and go back home. Oh my god, right? He said, it. My back is pain, it's a break, it's a breaking in point. Come the calendar, you move back up to You see, people said it, right? We can go home and stay. But answers this is very hard right he's a hard the fast bowler that much hard uh, he's a chubby right just uh, people say that one not uh, they wish right to say the others they are hardness their hardness right not 30 seconds had passed when we heard that the sounded like a firecracker crackers going off not 30 seconds after telling this just immediately after this right 30, just even 30 seconds over when he said if my uh, the, uh, the backbone is breaking in point i have bomb blast right 30 seconds what happened that was sound like a firecrackers right so like a firecrackers mean in new year days we fire that crackers going off suddenly a shout came from the front shout came from the front now he the kumar sangakar uh, uh, he must be in the there in the middle then right so a uh, shout came from the front and uh, get down they shoot at the bus get down right you know uh, so if it is soldiers they know what the command is right normally um, 
even the cricketers and the players also give certain the training right so these fellows would have taken it anyway we not know so get down right so because of the firing the reaction was immediate so everybody quick quickly everybody did it and everyone dragged dying from the car to look took shelter and a aisle out behind the seats i mean in the middle of the, the two seats there's a walking area right you have the aisles in the church right aisle behind the seats and with the very little space uh, we were all lying top of each other everybody just lying on the bed the the, the floor right the bullet started to hit it was like a rain in the tin roof right with a machine gun right rain in the tin roof uh, we call that is a takaram mahalagana mahina right that's a that's a idea right rain in the tin roof and uh, endless shooting and the bus was a uh, stand still stand still bus stop at that place not moving now it is easy target for the gunman these fellows are really un the helpless innocent right weaponless right unexpected never wanted to have violence right never know what what's going on but they were shot right so what happened so we did not know what happened what's going on and bus stand still and easy target for the gunman he kumar sangakkar was fully conscious he has uh, his duty right he did not just to be panic he is a leader he has a responsibility for the others he was fully aware you know he understood it was a good target for the 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 gunman as the bullet started to brush uh, br bursting started bursting through the bus all we could was all we could do was stay still and quiet and hoping and praying to avoid the death that in chill right so is it's better if you underline that one children right so uh, all right then the bullet started the yeah, it was in like a train a roof and bus was this one right stands easy good yeah as a bullet started yeah so this one is very important not this one right quiet and hoping and praying and avoid still and uh, we what we did what we could do was still we could stand still we could not move even if they come and shoot to our heads because we are weaponless right and uh, with a man who is uh, having a gun right so here yeah, they have to fight so there is no fight right we we are not trained we not know that violence so what we what we need was uh, still quiet quiet silent and hoping if we shout that is easy target for them quiet and hoping to hoping and praying we hope oh god right and avoid the death and injury right avoid the death and injury that was the only thing that near helplessness right he did not want to be a hero before the audience in front of the audience he wants to say i'm a person right 
I'm a person who does not expect any violence. Right, non-violence is my policy. So the person who follows the non-violence, non-violence policy, like Mahatma Gandhi, right? So they they have the fear of death, right? Fear of death, fear of injury, right? Fear of injury. So he did not say right now. This is after two years, right? You could have just boast, they just boast, right? Like two's company. But I just suppose, no, he did not do. He's an intelligent man, isn't it? Right, we actually, we hoped and praying, praying our goals, right? So why the death and injury? Death and injury. You got it, right? Oh. It's important because he's very humble, right? He's not proud, he's a genuine man. He doesn't want to lie. Right, so he did not have any condition. Who is he? Sangakara did not have any condition to talk this way. Right, he could have said, Right, we were not scared because Sri Lanka. No, he didn't say. He genuinely said, We pray, right, to avoid the death and danger. He said, That is uh, when you are in trouble, when you are in uh, such situations, right. So, um, uh, what you do is, actually what you do is, you pray, right? So here yeah, suddenly the Mahali who sits in the back of the bus, right, who sits in the back of the bus, and uh, <coughs> shouts and saying, shouts saying, he thinks he has to hit in the sheep, right? He shouted. He thinks he's a uh, shin. Shin is a, uh, you know, uh, uh, your, your, your leg. Right. This is me and this is a shin. Right, this is a shin. This part. Right, this is our leg. Right, this is a foot. Right. Ah. It's not uh, drawn well, you can't help, right? So uh, there's a uh, technical fault, right? Right. Anyway, you know the shin is uh, just uh, below the knee you have the this uh, bone. That one, right? He said uh, suddenly. He said uh, shout saying that he thinks he has he has been hit in his shin, and I am. He has been hit means a, a bullet, right? And I'm lay, I'm lying next to Tilan. I'm lying next to Tilan. He groans in pain as bullet hits him in the back of his thigh. The back of his thigh, this part, right? So a bullet hits, he groans, ah, oh, like, right? I turn my head to look at him, I feel something whizzed. Now, you know, he's a leader, right? He did not just uh, uh, the, 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 put his uh, head down and uh, thought of uh, himself. Did not uh, uh, the, he was not selfish was not selfish right he just uh, as a leader right he wanted to know what happened to his uh, colleague his uh, friend his uh, teammate so he just looked moved his head and at that moment at that moment something whizzed with these uh, automatic words, so when something, if you do this way, you can hear some whizzed, right? Something whizzed past my ear and bullet thuds into the sides of the sea. Da! Right? It just went this way and uh, hit to the, the somewhere behind something and side seats and seat and it's, it's 
exact spots where my head had been a few seconds earlier. My God, where my head few seconds earlier. I moved this head this way and when my head, it went. Right, luckily I took my head. I moved my head. So that was experience. He got it. And uh, these uh, things are very important. You see, I feel something heat my shoulder and it goes numb. Right, maybe this bullet. Right, it just hit my shoulder and it goes numb. You know what's a numb? Right, uh, when you keep your hair. Uh, the hand this way for a long time, this get numb, right? You call in, uh, say, hiriwate, uh, right? It numbed, right? My hand. And uh, <clears throat> I know I had been hit. I know I had been hit. Because I, I have no experience. I do not know what shooting is, right? Something just hit this and numbed. I thought that bullet would have gone inside. My body, that was the idea that I had it, right? And, uh, but I was just relieved and playing. I was not going to, it was not going to hit my head. I said, thank God, it did not hit my head because I was, I just moved my head, it went very fast and fell here. Or it went this way and, uh, uh, the, the back to my shoulder, right? So went to the seat and back to my shoulder. I may not know about it, right? Anyway, I was happy or not happy. I, I thank God, I prayed, right? Tharanga Paravitan on his deep uh, deep tour, it's a novel, new tour, first tour. He's also next to me, he stands up. Oh my God, this man, Tarala Parvamidhan, he stands up. And Bullet, you now you see, he explains in present tense. It's a very effective language, right? As it happens, right? Uh, he stands up. Bullet flying all around him. This foolish man stood up and uh, Bullet ran, right? This gunman were outside. Right, they wanted to have the target around him, shouting, I have been hit, I have been hit. Right, and if you say in singer, let's see, what's it? And uh, as his hold is a blood soft chest, blood soft chest. So quickly blood came and just said, I, I have been shot. Right, and just, I was shocked. Blood sought, the blood is coming very, the, the, the bleeding there. And uh, he collapsed into, collapse, fell down, collapsed onto the seat and apparently unconscious. He was unconscious. Right, he's not, uh, he fainted right. I see him, I see him and I think, I think, right, still I'm in good conscious. Right, I I have as a as a leader, as a team leader, captain of the team, he cares even the 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 first uh, the, the, the this boy who's a Taranga Paramitan, so he's diva to a first two, right? He cared everybody. I see him and I think, oh my God, he was helpless, right? He cannot help. Oh my God, you were our first, uh, you were out the first ball. Right, first ball and the run out. And the next innings, right, first innings, what happened? First ball, run out. Right, run out. And the next innings uh, now, and now we are, you have been shot. Second innings, you have been shot. This is one of a terrible bad luck, you see. Um, what a terrible first tour, what a terrible first tour, my God, what a terrible first tour you had. Right. It is strange how clear you think is. 
it is very clear how it is very it is sorry sorry it's very strange how you how clear you think is you think is you means the audience audience who are listening to not you who are listening to me people who are listening to sangakar right it is a uh, this strange it is not uh, right is strange how clear you think is i did not see my life flash by i did not now when 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 certain fatal situation comes to us right if we uh, if something now this a uh, corona period everybody is shocked isn't it so they think about their children right if they die if i die what's going to happen to my children my family right so if some fatal incidents happens like accident they feel they they remember their the past their life their family right so flashback comes to right he says i did not see my life flash back flash back right there was there was no insane panic so such people are uh, panic but i i was there was no insane panic insane means a foolish right there's no insane panic we are strong we have the courage right we need not just cry and shout no and uh, for the situation they faced well there was uh, absolute cl- clarity and awareness of what was happening at the moment so everybody was aware what was happening the sun gun may we not know the reason was shooting so we have to we had to be quiet and this is our solution right so they were not panic they didn't shout they didn't call their parents mother mummy no nothing right and uh, when such situation comes what was happening to the people normally they shouting budu ammo like right and uh, i hear the bus roll into the life and started to move no 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 how it happens but started to lie and road start to go moving dilshan screaming at the driver he knows that's dilshan who shouted dilshan right is so shouted screaming at the dry drive he speed up the swerve swerve this way right not directly right it's difficulty and uh, are finally inside the safety of this stadium so we came to the stadium bank right there was uh, i just uh, go a bit fast from this place right uh, there was a rush now they all escaped escaped uh, luckily the bus started to move when they came to the place and uh, there is a rush to get off the bus everybody want to get off the bus and taranga parvavidana and uh, parvavidana stands up and he still still uh, st- is still bleeding and is a bullet uh, lodged lightly is a sternum sternum is a displace like you know right the breast bone right sternum and the body of the bus and the tempering uh, its velocity body of the now when when they were shooting from the other side body of the uh, the, the it, it must come through the body it must uh, damage the body and come to us the bullet so it does control its velocity the speed right it speeds control and come the bullet so therefore the damage has not uh, uh, very bad right so body of the bus tempering and its velocity enough to uh, velocity enough to stop by the bond its velocity enough to stop by the bond it did not go it just went to the and attack the bond but it did not did not break the bond and go inside tiran is help or helped off the bus 
in the dressing room there is a mixture of emotions now everybody was unexpected everybody faced the unexpected situation so just after this there's a mixture of emotions what are the mixture of emotions i'm angry angry anger what the hell happened to these people what why did they shoot us the other was relief oh thank god right and the others were joy see what happened this fellow was right just lying and crying you see joy and uh, mixture of anger and uh, mixture of emotions and the player and the coaching staff are being examined by the paramedics so everybody was paramedics came in and checked it and tilan and parvathan are taken to the ambulance to the hospital taken by the ambulance to the hospital and we all sit in the dressing room and talk talked about the what happened within a minute within a minute there is a laughter and jokes have started to flow so they are young boys right young boys very strong people right so after the minutes when they come to know that they are safe they started joke right this is how this fellow shouted and i thought this one right so they would have started to enjoy it and uh, we all realized that uh, within a minute there is a laughter and the jokes and the sound of flow and we have to we have we have for the first time being target of violence please underline that please underline that all right underline it we have the first time we have for the first time been target of violence we had uh, served first time right we survived we had survived for the first time first time that means again he emphasizes they had no such experience in sri lanka right sri lanka is famous for the war right sri lanka it had been famous for the war guerrilla war right these uh, fellows are uh, the audience right they would have watched it over their the, the televisions right about the bomb blasting casualties you know so many things terrible things as we watch about the syrian uh, the incidents right so uh, he says no this is the first time we we means we all ever experienced the violence right we not practice this violence right we hatred is not in us to practice the violence right so we all realize that uh, some of our our fellow sri lankans experience every day we all realized we realized that time that time we realized some of our fellow sri lankans sri lankans may be army or tamil or ltts or the people uh, who stays in that area who lives in that area right sri lankan experience every day for nearly 30 years for nearly 30 years right so we felt them we felt them right most sri lankans did not get this experience sri lanka in sri lanka every every uh, the people right every people means children every people means all the, the singalese muslims tamils right all racial races right we live together we live happily we do not have experience right we you remember children when children uh, went to school yeah went to school people went to work 
and I played my cricket, everything was normal. Right? This is what he wants to emphasize again. Right? We all realize. Once we experience violence, we realize how poor our Sri Lankans are. Those who face the trouble. Right? And realize that what our fellow, what fellow Sri Lankan experience every day for nearly 30 years. Now, if you want to, you remember children. These things, right? If you can learn these uh, parts, which I told you to learn, underline these things, right? Even if his words is not very important, at least this idea, it's better if his dictation is, uh, can be remembered. And remember. And uh, we have the first time, the target, first time target. So now we feel, now we feel how our fellow Sri Lankan experience day uh, every day for nearly 30 years. There was, a, there was a new respect and awe for their courage and self, selflessness. Right, we inspire, right, we inspire. There's a new respect and awe we, we feel, right, the awe uh, yeah, it's respect once again. Respect and all, right? And all their courage, their courage, who are their courage people living there, who face this violence, right? And uh, self, selflessness, right? So we feel sorry, felt sorry for the people. And uh, <laughs> It is, no, it is notable that the quickly, how quickly we got over that attack on us. Although we were physically injured, mentally we held strong. Remember this one? Now he develops. Sri Lankans are non-violent. Right? We call it a patriotic. His patriotism comes out. Sri Lankans are non violent. We feel sorry about the people, right, who are there. We had a compassion earlier, he said. I feel sorry for the people who live in that area, right? After this ex the experience, we have special respect in our opinion. They, and uh, it is notable, but it is notable how quickly we got over uh, that attack on us. Quickly, we got on, we got over, we just forget it. Right, we, we can we were able to come to, come around, come to our conscious, come to our normal, uh, the, the, the behavior, right? Normal uh, standard, normal uh, conscious, right? Ordinary. Living now, the others were not that uh, panic and shouting, shivering, right? No, nobody was taken to the, the psychologist. Huh. Notable and um, quickly we got over that attack and although we were physically injured, mentally we held strong. Mentally, although we were physically injured, we were mentally strong. Mentally, nobody was down. A few hours after the attack, we were airlifted to the Lahore Air Force Air Force Base. Ajanta Mendes has uh, his uh, head sore and bandaged, right? And after the multiple uh, sharp nerve wounds, he got some sharp wounds there, and suggested the game of a Parker. He's a game of the Parker, right? You know, I told you earlier what's a game of Parker is. Uh, Right, that's how they said idiomatic idea. He's a man. And Dylan has been brought back and sedated, but fully conscious. He was sedated. So it is me, I told you, uh, it was a bit silent, a uh, little bit um, calm, right? And uh, look different, but not his, uh, fully, con fully conscious. When I talked to him, he's, uh, he answered me well, right? And to be with us. 
and we make the jokes here him we make the jokes at him and what happened to the first innings you got run out maybe different things and uh, he is a smile he smiles back right he's normal he smiles back we were all shot at uh, we were all shot at grenades were thrown at us not shot at grenades were thrown at us you know it's grenades the hand bombs and we were injured some of us we got injured and yet we were not carved and like that they yet we were not carved you were not carved this one we were not carved we were shot and grenades were thrown right remember grenades were thrown and we were not uh, injured and we were not shot we were not uh, so thrown at us and we were not injured we were injured and yet we were not caught we were not caught that means we were not caught means uh, uh, the you know the fearful right you call uh, the word uh, cowards coward die many times before they die right the who is a fear of things right so uh, like hatpana you know right <coughs> there is a cult so uh, they are we are not cult you know cult right we are ready to face although we were the having certain situations quickly we come to the real conscious that is our quality we were not down and out we were not down and out to get this not down and out and we are sri lankans is patriotism we are sri lankans remember we thought to ourselves and we are to we are tough and we all right we thought or to ourselves yeah oh uh, yeah and the hardships we thought to ourselves and we are tough we are tough tough means hard right we are tough and we all get through the hardships we all get through the hardships we know how to face the hardships and we all overcome because our spirits are we can overcome any problem because our spirits are strong our spirits who are our Sri Lankans, Sri Lankans. You got it. I mean, Sri Lankans. So he, he he represents Sri Lanka. That is his patriotism. He does not use I. The word I. You see, always he said we. Right. We were going. We I I the we we heard it. Right. We were shot. Right. so use it because he is he does not uh, he is not selfish he has a feeling of team and he has a patriotism he said we are sri lankans right we are not down and out and uh, we all overcome because our spirits are strong our sri lankan spirits are strong right our soul our the everything our the the we are confident people this is what the world saw in our interviews immediately after you know immediately after you would have uh, uh, the red you means the people who are listening the audience to he addresses you would have uh, listened to all the interviews the media people came right the people were ordinary right we were in we answered them right very well confidently and the attack we after the immediate after the attack we were calm collected and rational we were calm we were calm right we are not uh, shouting noisy collected knowledgeable people we have the knowledge and rational rational is logical argumentative right rational and our emotions are held true to our laws as our official ambassadors 
right? Our emotions help to true, right? They are not lie, right? To our role, to our role, role of our, that is to our lives as an unofficial ambassador in there, right? So, a week, a week after, now this is incident, uh, what, what he, uh, the, about Lahore attack, the incident about the law attack has been already completed. Now, he says about his experience with Sri Lanka. A week after our arrival in Colombo from Pakistan, I was uh, driving about uh, town and was stopped and, uh, at a checkpoint. Those days, you know, uh, a lot of checkpoints you not know because you were very small then. So uh, there are a lot of checkpoints. Uh, uh, Sri Lankan army, police, even sometimes uh, air force, or some other forces also comes, right, commando. They have the checkpoints, right? So they stop the vehicles and check, right, their identities because uh, there's, there's a threat of terrorist, threat of terrorist. So he says, after this incident, I was uh, stopped at the checkpoint, checkpoint, the Sri Lankan army and a soldier politely inquired right so there a soldier politely inquired so so everybody in sri lanka know who kumar sangaka is right he's uh, those days he was the i feel uh, he was a hero right for most youngsters and uh, cricket lovers right so uh, <clears throat> So uh, everybody knows about him, right? And uh, these uh, things appeared in the paper, Lahore attack. So that uh, soldier uh, politely said it, sir. Uh, I said, uh, soldier politely inquired, inquired, ask, as my health after the attack. So how are you, sir? After the attack, were you, were you attacked a lot? And he asked. And I said, I, I was fine and uh, added, I said, I added the idea that what they as a soldiers experience in every day, we only, right, we only experience for a few minutes. We only experience this for a few minutes, man. So about you, what about you? Every day, you have this threat, you have this experience, you would have gone to the Jaffna, that war area. So you would have experienced that. Right, so we only few uh, we got the whole we drew the whole uh, attention of the world, right? So <clears throat> that was my idea. The my my means of Kumar Sangakara said it, it's my, that is how I felt it. Right, he said, it. but I managed to grab hold the news headlines. The soldier looked at me. And I looked at. Me in I and reply. Look at the I and reply. What is the I? Looking at the I means right honestly. If you lie, you are just looking outside and say, I and said. What is it? What did he say? Uh, it's okay, sir. If I die, because it's my job and I'm ready to ready for it. It's my job. It's okay if I die, but. You are a hero, and if you were die, it would be a great loss for our country. He's a cricket lover, right? It would be a great loss for our country. You bring the fame for our country. That is how they love, the people love. And I was taken aback. I was taken aback. My God. He just felt it. My God. How can this man value his life then? Money. Everybody in the world values his life first, but he, the soldier, values his life, my life, right, is more valuable than him. his. I was a pack, and how can this man value his life less, uh, uh, less than mine? His sincerity was overwhelming. So I saw his eyes, he was looking at my eyes. His sincerity, his genuine quality, his love, 
is overwhelming, right? So I can see that right through his eyes. I felt humble. I didn't know I was not proud. You got it? I felt humble. It's humble. It's not a pride. Right? I felt humble. You know, humble, right? And this is the passion. This is the passion. This is the love that the cricket and the cricketers, he walk in Sri Lankans. Sri Lankans, right? He walked in Sri Lankan. He walked in Sri Lankans. So almost all Sri Lankans love cricketers and cricket. And this is the love that I strived every day in my career. This is what I do hard, right? Every day in my career to be worthy of. So I work hard and I, I felt my career, my being a cricketer is worthy of. This is why I think this is worthy of. Because we, we get the love. Right, everybody, we are, we are heroes, we become heroes of it because they love us, right? They need us, our job, right? So this is what uh, he said. How this is an extraction, um, I feel, uh, you understood this one very, not very well. Right, anyway, you have to read at least two or three times, children. Right, don't uh, leave it to learn again. At least two or three times, read it and find uh, difficult places. Right, if I'm able to meet you, I will ask a difficult class the, the, the places. Right, what, what is the meaning of these, these things? Uh, the other thing is you want to answer the contextual question. Contextual questions in my second lecture, I will uh, discuss how do you plan and how do you answer the questions and what do you want to know to answer the question, what characteristics or what qualities uh, uh, should be there in your answer when you answer this question, right, when, uh, when you answer the pros. Um, so that's all. Oh, it's a long time, I think. Um, so uh, I like to see you all as early as possible. Uh, till then, do hard and uh, stay safe. Uh, thank you, thank you for being with me. Goodbye.